How is it going, everybody? You're watching then about tech. So, if your iPhone is overheating, if you're having battery drain issues, if sometimes MagSafe simply doesn't work and your iPhone just won't charge, and even if you're having touch related issues, so touch is unresponsive sometimes on your iPhone, I have to tell you that unfortunately, it's probably because of iOS 18.5, which is by far one of the most buggy and problematic software updates we've seen in a long time. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix those issues. Let's get started. Starting with battery drain and overheating. If we go ahead and open up our settings and then go to battery, I wanna talk about first about battery drain. And there's no magic number or anything like that. Battery drain is more of a feeling because everyone uses their iPhones differently. But the point is, if you're feeling, if you're noticing that your battery is just discharging too fast, it's just going down faster than it used to. And especially if you notice that this line right here, as you're seeing, is just steeper than before. So if your battery is just running out faster than before, that's battery drain. And that's a very well-known issue of iOS 18.5. Same goes right here with overheating. Sometimes you will see a screen like that saying your iPhone needs to cool down, but sometimes you won't. You just notice again, it's a feeling that you're gonna tap, especially on the back of your iPhone, and you're gonna notice it's too hot. It's hotter than it used to be, nothing changed, it just got hotter out of the sudden. And one of the easiest ways to try and fix those issues is simply go ahead, open up your iPhone settings, scroll down, tap on Apple Intelligence and Siri, and just disable Apple Intelligence, as you're seeing right here, turn off Apple Intelligence. Simply because, based on a ton of testings and a ton of reports from hundreds, maybe thousands of users, and of course, a bunch of testings as well, we can definitely tell that Apple Intelligence may be the biggest cause of this issue. And as you know, Apple Intelligence is far from being a finished product. So that's why it's not well optimized and it's causing for a lot of people battery drain and overheating. So go ahead, disable it, and test it out for one, two, or three days and probably you'll notice that it will be back to normal. If your iPhone isn't compatible with Apple Intelligence or if you're not using Apple Intelligence, of course, stick around because I have more tips on how to fix those issues. Moving on, talking about the other two problems related to iOS 18.5, let's talk about MagSafe charging. So a lot of people are reporting this as well. You go ahead and then you tap here on the back, you connect it, you feel magnetically that it's actually connected. And sometimes you will see it's charging. So you get the information here, the indication, but after a few minutes, sometimes even seconds, it'll stop charging completely. So this is a very well-known issue as well. And the other one has to do with touch being unresponsive. Of course, it doesn't happen all the time, every single time, every single day. Sometimes it just happens for a few seconds or a few minutes and then it comes back to normal. But it's very, very annoying, like tapping on your iPhone, trying to do something and it just feels like it's completely frozen. It happens a lot on the keyboard as well while you are typing. So if you wanna actually try and fix those issues, you have a few alternatives. And of course, this will work for both those final issues, MagSafe and Unresponsive Touch, and also the first two ones as well that I mentioned in the beginning. Okay, so this is a general fix for everything. First, go ahead and just restart your iPhone. I know it's a very simple thing to do, but it helps so, so much. So press the side button and volume up or down. So press and hold both and then keep holding until of course you see the turn off screen, slide to turn off and then turn it off and then turn it back on. After a few seconds, you can already go ahead and press again just on your side button, press and hold and your iPhone will restart. Of course, you won't lose any data or anything like that. We're just turning off and turning back on, which is really a universal fix ever since the beginning of computers, really, from decades and decades ago. It always works for a lot of issues, so turn off, turn back on, and then, as you can see right here, swipe up, type in your passcode, and then you're good to go, and then this on its own may already fix your issues. Now, of course, this is not a magical thing. It will help you, but sometimes not necessarily or not enough. 
if you're still facing issues after all that, I do recommend that you go ahead and think about two choices. Number one, wait for iOS 18.5.1. Apple is currently working on iOS 18.5.1. We were actually expecting it to be released this week, but it wasn't. Maybe it will be next week or even two weeks from now upon the recording of this video, of course. Uh, but the delay of iOS 18.5.1 already indicates that actually uh, the problem is really complicated and they simply can't find a solution just like that. But if you really need to fix it, if the issues are too much for you, I do recommend that you go ahead and reset your iPhone. So go ahead, open up your settings, and then you're going to scroll down, tap on general, and then scroll all the way down, go ahead and tap here on transfer or reset iPhone, and of course, erase all content and settings. But before you do that, of course, make sure to back up your iPhone first, either in iCloud backup or a computer backup, but you will need to back up your iPhone first because when you go through with this option, of course, you will lose everything. It will erase your iPhone completely, wipe out completely. So of course, if you have a backup, you can recover all of the information in the first setup process, okay? So go ahead and back up your iPhone and then erase it. If you wanna go ahead and go through with this process, I do recommend that you take a look at a card that I'm gonna leave right there at the top where I teach you how to back up through iCloud or through a computer. It's up to you and of course, it's free and of course, made by Apple. So you can go ahead and do that but I would only recommend going through this final option, this last resort, if you're really, really annoyed by the issues and the bugs, because this will take a while, right? So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next videos, guys. Bye-bye.